What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special fall pumpkin extravaganza planned for you all. Today I'm going to be doing my Trader Joe's pumpkin spice themed haul. Now I grabbed as many goodies as I could. I saw a lot online that I did not see in store today so maybe I'll follow this up with a little mini haul but I did get as many pumpkin spice themed things. Some are familiar to me, some are new this year. So without further ado, let's get into this very pumpkin spice. All right, so starting off, wouldn't be a pumpkin spice themed haul without a PSL in hand, so I have this one from, uh, I was gonna say Trader Joe's, from Starbucks. This is just the pumpkin spice latte. I wish they had oat milk. I've been harassing them on their public Instagram to get oat milk. I know that they have it at a couple of locations, but I usually just get the regular one with just one and a half pumps because three is so sugary. So I have my PSL in hand, so let's get started. We have the two bags chock full of goodies. So I'm just gonna go through them as quickly as I can because a lot of them are actually frozen and I need to get them into the refrigerator. So without further ado, our first item here is the pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's. These are an oldie but a goodie. I have purchased these many times. I love, love, love these so much. They're so good. I'm gonna show you another thing that I got in here that I got specifically for on top of the pumpkin spice waffles. That's gonna be so delicious. So I'll let you know when we come up to that. Okay, next up we have these pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. This looks so good. Now I don't make sweets like this all the time, but in the name of pumpkin season, um, I thought this would be a good treat to myself. This is a pretty big container, so I imagine you can get several different servings out of it. And I love oatmeal cookies, so anything that is pumpkin mixed with oatmeal sounds good to me. Um, this is new this year, I've never seen this before. So someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm super excited about the cookie mix. Next, this is more of just a fall thing. It's not really pumpkin spice, but this is the savory corn pie. I had seen this um, on the Trader Joe list, at Trader Joe's list, which is the Trader Joe's account um, that I follow. And it just looks really nice to make with soup for fall. This is a newer item. It is um, a crustless pie with corn, cheddar, cheese, and Anaheim chili peppers. So I thought this looked really good on like a fall night to make with some soup. Hi, Blue. Okay, next up, these two things go together. <laughs> so I saw this, I could not not get these. They look so cute. So these are the Trader Joe's Fall Leaf Corn Tortilla Chips. They're just tortilla chips, but they're all different fall leaf shapes. I don't know, anything that is good marketing I'm a sucker for. So I got these, and then they have their Pepita Salsa. This is basically a um, pumpkin seed salsa. Now they had two different kinds of salsa. They had their autumnal salsa, which is like butternut squash and pumpkin pieces, but this one I thought looked better. So that is this one. Next up, another sweet treat, but these just look so cute. I'll probably just have a couple of these and then pass them along to a friend because anything that's super sugary, I just, I can't eat all of it, I'll be sick. So this is Trader Joe's Candy Corn Popcorn. It's crunchy kernels of popcorn covered in a sweet coating that tastes like candy corn. Packaging on point again, it was so cute, I had to get it and try it. I believe I saw this last year, so it's definitely not a new item, but I thought it looked good for this. I can take the rest of the items out of this package. So this is what I was referring to before when I mentioned the um, waffles and having something to pair with it. So these are the pumpkin waffles that I mentioned, and then this is their organic maple butter. It's a spreadable creamy maple syrup. How good does that look? I love anything maple themed, and they have probably just as many maple themed things as pumpkin there, a lot of butternut squash, you know, anything that has fall vibes, but this looks so good. So this one was a little expensive. I think this is like 5 dollars 
but it pretty much just looks like a creamy maple syrup and I thought that on top of the waffles, mm, it's gonna be so good. Um, also, I got pumpkin bagels, so I got some pumpkin spice cream cheese. This is definitely not new either, but it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love this cream cheese, it's delicious. Um, hold on, pumpkin spice latte break. Okay, also I got the pumpkin spice bi biocellulose face mask. I had seen this on Trader Joe's list as well. I'm a sucker for a face mask, face mask, so I wanted to try this. It just basically is one of those sheet masks that you guys know of, um, and it's scented like pumpkin spice. Basically, it's just super hydrating, so I thought that looked super fun. Um, all right, so I'll show you the bagels that I got to go with the cream cheese. So these are just, I think there's six in here. Yeah, there's six in here, pumpkin spice, made with pumpkin flour and pumpkin pie spice bits. So I've been trying not to buy bagels because bagels to me, anything super carby makes me put on weight so quick. So I try and avoid heavy carbs like bagels, but for the sake of pumpkin spice season, I'll take one for the team. So I'm really excited for this, especially with the cream cheese. I love that cream cheese. They also had, and you guys, this is new this year, I've never seen it before, but they also had pumpkin spice bagels that are gluten free. Those were a little more expensive and I think there was only five. Um, they were fluffier and there were five to a pack, but um, I just got the regular kind. Also got these fall zucchini, I think that's how you pronounce it, pasta in the shape of little butternut squash. Like how cute is that? I've never seen these before, so I think these are new. Um, but yeah, just basically butternut, it's wheat with dehydrated butternut squash and paprika for the coloring. How cute is that? I love those. So just some pasta also in the realm of pasta. These are kind of sweet, but I always just like to get them once for the season. So these are the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. They have um, a cheesy pumpkin filling, and I usually just make these with like olive oil and put a little butter and cinnamon and make like a sauce out of like the olive oil and butter and cinnamon. Um, kind of on the flattening side, I would say. Just, I don't know, they seem super sweet, but it says they're five grams of fat, saturated too. Pumpkin regatta cheese in the middle. So, I don't know, if you like pumpkin, you'll like these. I also have the butternut squash ravioli out this time of year. And if you don't want to make the cinnamon butter sauce that I mentioned, that's a pretty popular way to make butternut squash, but they also have tons of autumn themed sauces. So they had two of them. This is the one I thought looked better. Um, this is the autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce with pumpkin and butternut squash. So you can also put this on your pumpkin ravioli or I'm gonna use it for this. So cute. Okay, continuing right along. I got some pumpkin spice coffee. These are the little K-cups. I actually forgot that Trader Joe's makes K-cups. So when I saw these, I got really excited because it's a 12 pack for $5.99, which is very cost effective. And it's just cinnamon, clove, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. It's a medium roast. So I got this, and then this is not from Trader Joe's, but I just got this from my regular grocery store. It's the pumpkin spice coffee creamer. And also from the store, I saw these the other day and they look so good. If you watch my Instagram stories, you probably saw me post this because I already dug into them on Saturday. But this is a pumpkin shandy. If you don't know what shandy is, it's basically think of a beer combined with a lemonade and that's what shandy is. It's like a lighter beer and I believe they put lemonade in it traditionally or some kind of carbonated lemon. So this is the Harvest Patch Shandy. It's Weiss beer brewed with honey and natural flavors. It's so good and refreshing and light. I love it. You guys should definitely try Shandy if you're not a huge beer fan, but you want 
something to kind of give you a little buzz. Shandy might be your, might be your new jam. Okay, last but not least, the last two things. They had um, a pumpkin soup in the refrigerated section. And honestly, when I got that last year, I was not really a fan of it. But I saw that they had two that were in just like the regular section. These are not refrigerated. They're just, you know, heat um, once you open and go. So this is the pumpkin bisque. It's a creamy soup with pumpkin and full spices. I actually make like a really good pumpkin spice soup on my own, but the bisque look really good and I've never seen it in a container like this. In fact, when I first saw this, I was like, hey, I didn't see that pasta sauce, but it's not sauce, it's a soup. So just wanted to mention this. If you don't wanna get the refrigerated ones, cause those ones do have a very short shelf life, try the ones in the regular section, soup section of Trader Joe's. And last but not least, we have this pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal. I normally don't get my oatmeal from Trader Joe's because I try and do the lower sugar oatmeal. And I usually find that at just like the regular grocery store. But for the sake of pumpkin season, I'm gonna try this again. I don't remember trying this ever before. I believe this is a new item. And I love anything that has pecan in it. So this is the pecan and pumpkin instant oatmeal. And I just put in my, um, I think I told you guys I get the milk it's like a nut milk that has macadamia, almond, and not cashew, but like another, it's a milk blend. So I just mix that in with this and it makes it really creamy. Or you could just do water in here as well. Guys, I have one more thing to add to the mix. Sorry, I've already moved my background out of place. So this is just the back of my apartment, but um, I was showing my roommate Danielle that they have this pumpkin spice theme face mask and she was telling me she got the body butter a couple of years ago. So I wanted to share it because it's still relevant since they still have this. The packaging this year is a little different, but she brought this out and this is the most delicious pumpkin spiced body butter I've ever smelled in my life. So. The cap just flips up, which makes it super convenient. You don't have to like open it. And it says body butter, so I expected it to be very thick. Let me just tell you that this smells like heaven. Like I thought it was gonna smell sickly sweet, cause some pumpkin things do. A lot of the candles from Bath and Body Works, if it smells too sweet or too strong, I'm grossed out. So I used some of this cause I just wanted to see what the texture was. It's super whipped and very heavy, but it does absorb into the skin pretty quickly. And it's not overly sweet. It's actually kind of, if pumpkin can be fresh, it's like a fresh pumpkin, it's light. It smells, I don't wanna say like real pumpkin cause real pumpkin doesn't, very good but yeah it's just it smells like pumpkin spice but it's not overpoweringly sweet I guess I hope I'm describing that right but that's pretty much the best description I can do for you so just wanted to add one more thing to the pumpkin spice trader Joe's themed haul because this is available and it smells super yummy so that is it you guys hopefully you liked all of my pumpkin spice themed goodies from trader joe's if you watch this video and you liked it please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see regular content if not i will see everyone else in my next video